Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so it is Sunday and I need to get a video up tomorrow. So once again, I procrastinated. Why do I do this? I don't really understand it. Oh well, let's do this. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing the if I lost all my makeup, what would I repurchase tag? Uh, someone, another one of my friends that did this when several months ago, this is like back in the winter time when, um, when they did it, but, and I thought it was interesting. So I wrote it, I wrote down the idea in my little notebook and, um, I didn't write down what I was going to take and I probably should have been getting ideas because this morning I sat down to do this and I was like, Oh, what, what would I repurchase? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, Oh, this was difficult, y'all. I just, I don't even know. All right, well, I guess we'll just get into this. I don't know. But before we do, um, I told y'all that I would ask or try to remember to ask y'all in Monday's video. Um, the hubby and I are trying to decide what video idea to do next. There's several ideas that we could do. We could do, um, in fact, uh, I will... There's a an option for the question or whatever in the cards, so I will do that up there. Um, but like different options and whatnot, we can do another tag video, another couples Q and A where y'all ask us questions again, since those questions were you know from before, from earlier, many many months ago, and or we could do. Uh, I said tag couples to Q&A. Uh, we could do a challenge video. <clears throat> um, or <laughs> I could, we could, uh, we could do, uh, he could do my makeup. Um, there's, there's lots of things we could do. So y'all let us know what you want to see. And I'll try to remember to put that in the cards above and y'all can give your feedback and yeah. Or if you don't want to do that, then you can do it in the comments below or let me know on Instagram or on Twitter. <clears throat> So yeah, and we'll do whatever y'all want to do. Alright guys, so I guess if you're interested in seeing what I would repurchase if I lost all my makeup, heaven forbid, dear God, <laughs> then I guess just keep watching. But before we get into this, go ahead and hit the big red support button down below and the notification bell right next to it. That way you can always be notified of my uploads, which are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So come on back to my channel on those days for new content. And without further ado, let's get into this. Alright y'all, so... <laughs> Oh man, this was, this is almost stressful. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess we'll do it in order. And yeah, so this was very stressful because I just, some of them I didn't even know. Okay, so, and y'all know that I would pretty much start with my eye makeup. Um, uh, my eyeshadow, I don't use an eye primer. Um, like an actual eye primer, like an eyeshadow primer. I just normally use my concealer. So we'll get to that in a few minutes when I get to my concealer. So, and I don't know, no, y'all have seen this before on my channel because I reviewed it when I first started my channel back in, um, August of 17. So <clears throat> y'all probably remember what it is. My, the, the eyeshadows that I would repurchase if I lost it again, even though I have not been using it in a long time because I've been trying to pan other, other eyeshadow palettes. Ones that I don't like as much and that I don't know that I will repurchase, but I don't want to waste them. So is Urban Decay Naked Heat. And if y'all remember right, y'all know that I was obsessed with this palette for so long. Like, my husband got it for me for my birthday, which was August 30th, so I'm trying to think how long it took me, because I hit pan <clears throat> on 
that shade right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I hit, I hit pin on that second shade right there. And I was working on it with that first one and a few others. <laughs> it probably only took me a couple months to get there, honestly, because I was using it so much, so much. Like it was literally my go-to palette. If I was in a hurry, if I wanted a really awesome look, I just, it was my go-to palette. Honestly, I can't wait to use it again. It will be one that I repurchase when I'm when I run out of it, um, but yeah, I guess that this would be my go-to for that, so, I don't know if y'all were expecting that one or not, since I haven't talked about it in a long time, but I've been trying to pan a lot of products that need to, that are gonna have to be thrown away here soon, and that I don't want to completely throw away all that money, so yeah, uh, of course, I do love my Morphe palettes and whatnot. I would probably repurchase a couple of those, too. But this, the Naked Heat, definitely, for sure. And it has significant value because my husband did buy it for me. Okay. And what do I usually do after that? Uh, <laughs> um, eyeliner, I guess, is probably up next. I'm trying to remember what I, how I do. <laughs> what? Alright, so I don't know that I necessarily have a favorite eyeliner. I usually go like different ways with my eyeliner. I will sometimes use eyeshadow. Um, I will use a liquid liner if it's easy enough to use. I guess my favorite one right now, <clears throat> and I don't have one right now, or do I? Hold that thought. Yes, I do. My favorite liquid liner right now would probably have to be the Kat Von D Tripper Liner or Tattoo Liner in the color Tripper Black. And I do, because uh, I had mentioned a long time ago, uh, running out of this sample and being really sad about it. So, and that I wanted to purchase it in the full size of black and brown. So, I guess I'd have to say that this one for a liquid liner would have to be one that I would repurchase. Of course, I do have another one now, so I don't have to repurchase it just yet. I can try it again because it has been a long time since I've used it. But the the flick, the little line on this, it's it's so just fine. It just it makes it really easy for even a beginner or not a beginner. So, well, a beginner of course, but I'm not a beginner. A um, someone like me who's not as proficient at liquid liner as others are. So yeah, I definitely have to say this. And I guess. For, I haven't played with this product a lot, but when I do play with it, when I do use eyeliner, I like it. So, probably the Maybelline Gel Eye Studio. And this is color Espresso. I think that's the only color they have. But it's kind of a black brown. It's really, really pretty. Um, and this makes it really easy to for a person who's not as good with it to uh, make a wing. Because this is a little bit more forgiving, I guess. It's really awesome. So, <clears throat> and then for mascara, y'all pretty much know what's coming. I love the Benefit Tinted Primer. They're, they're real tinted primer. I'd probably have to repurchase this. And I would have to repurchase uh, both black and brown of the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Because I use these all the time. I mean, I get samples and whatnot of other ones and I, and I use those, but I always seem to come back to this. I need to branch out more. <laughs> of course, when I do, I come back to this. So, if I, was, if I lost all my makeup, I'd probably go and repurchase these. Of course, I would, I would like to find a drugstore alternative, but I've never actually tried one that I liked. I mean, I don't know. I guess I need to dig back through some of that stuff. I don't know. But yeah, if I was dessert, if I was... Uh, why do I keep saying a deserted island? Oh my god. I think because there's a, a tag about uh, if you were stranded on a deserted island, what makeup would you bring? But this is, I lost my makeup. If I lost my makeup and I had to repurchase, I'd repurchase those. And that cream eyeliner, liquid liner, and that eyeshadow palette. Okay, so. And then... We will get into foundations and concealers. Okay, and y'all pretty much know what's up. I, or no, 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 primer. Primer would be next, I guess. Y'all know 
that uh, I would have to repurchase this. This would have to be a go-to. I would probably be maxing out my credit card right now buying all this stuff. But I've got, I mean, it's so necessary. I really like how this just, it just it preps, it primes, it just moisturizes, it sets, it refreshes, it makes it look less cakey. It's just, I just have to have it. This or... Um, the Smashbox Primer Water. They are kind of similar to me, so I could do one or the other. If one was on sale, I could buy it instead of the other. So, um, yeah, either one. I just didn't get out my Smashbox Primer Water. Um, There's a few of these products in here that I do have the other two, but I didn't want to get them out. So, um, but yeah, I have pretty much have to have this. Or the Smashbox Primer Water. If one was on sale, I would probably purchase it over the other one because they're both that good. I love them both. Okay. And as for a, like a primer primer or whatever you want to call it, like a liquid primer, it would have to be between this, the L'Oreal Magic Lumi, or the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I have another one in there, but I don't want to dig it out. So... I love these bows, and they're very functional. You can even use these as a highlighter if you wanted to. Um, they're very hydrating. They feel good on the face, and they give your skin a beautiful glow. Um, I mean, I guess technically I'd opt for this one because it's cheaper, but if the Becca one was on sale, I'd purchase it as well. So, but I love them both the same, and they both pretty much uh, perform the same, I think. I want to say they're dupes. But I don't know if I ever did that whole showdown thing between the two. Haven't been wearing them that much. So, But I love them both. And I guess I'd probably repurchase this because it's cheaper. But I'd probably get that one too if it was on sale. Alright. So now I guess we're on to foundation and concealers. I got ahead of myself. Let's start going to go, didn't I? Okay. So y'all know what's up. I would definitely repurchase it cosmetic CC cream. I have gone through tubes and tubes and tubes and tubes and tubes and tubes of this. I can't even tell you how many tubes this is by now. I just love it. It is, it's multitasking on the box. I think it even says it's like seven in one because it's your sunscreen, it's your moisturizer, it's your serum, it's your uh, primer, it's your CC cream, your um, BB cream because it's very hydrating concealer, uh, <laughs> corrector, it's so many things, and this, it really does, it's very easy, it just, and it conceals a lot, and it, but it's very lightweight, but you can make, you can make it sheer, you can make it full coverage, it's, it's really good. I'd have, if you have this and you know what I'm talking about, it's just a great product, and unfortunately it's very pricey, and it doesn't go on sale very often, um, that I know of. If you know of a time when it goes on sale more often, let me know. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, It Cosmetics, I think, has like a birthday sale or something like that, but I'm talking about Adulta and Sephora and whatnot, so I usually will get it a, a couple of times a year for the VIB sale when everything at Sephora is on sale. So, yeah, this is, this would have to be the, the foundation that I would go to. Because I just can't think of another one. I mean, I guess... I don't know. It's so hard. I mean, I really love the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I love lots of other um, drugstore foundations. I like Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know if I love it yet. I'm still playing with it. Um, I don't know. See, there's so many. But this one, I, could, I would just have to repurchase them. <clears throat> All right, and my concealers, I would have to purchase, and y'all know what's up, Tarte Shape Tape. I'm mixing these two these two colors, medium and light medium honey. This one is almost empty. I really just probably need to uh, to part with it <laughs> and start using this one with a uh, with a lighter with my Pro Foundation mixer <clears throat> to use it up because it still feels weighted. But yeah, these two are awesome. You could even use this as foundation if you wanted to. If you didn't even want to use the um, the CC cream, if this was even too heavy for you on a, one of those days where you just wanted to spot conceal, this is your way to go. It's um, really good. You can use it as a foundation. You can just use it as your concealer and it'll cover up the under eyes and it's, it's really good. Of course, 
this is still really good for spot concealing too. It's not as heavy as this is. This is can be really thick. And depending on your pimples, you may not want to put this on your pimples. This might be better on the pimples. It'll still show them a little bit, but they won't be as red, you know. Okay, and as far as the setting powder goes. Oh, I forgot to, uh, to talk about what I would apply the uh, foundation and concealer with. Y'all know. Y'all already heard guess this. I have. To, I would have to go and repurchase beauty blenders. They're just so good. I just, I don't even have to talk about these. Y'all know how I feel about them. If you have a beauty blender, then you know. Or even the Real Techniques fun. But yeah, pretty much now I don't have to go into detail with these. Y'all know how I feel about these. My, th these, are my these are my babies. Or beauty blenders are my babies. <clears throat> Because it's in the, yeah, y'all know. Okay, and as far as the setting powder goes, I don't have the one that I love the most, but it's the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Um, this is the original, which I do like. I do like it a lot, but my favorite one, and this was my favorite until I tried the Hydrating. The Hydrating Mineral Veil is my favorite because it it's hydrating. I just love it. Haven't had it in a long time. In fact, Ulta had them on sale for 40% off a few months ago, and I thought I had another one, so I did not repurchase until I looked and saw that I did not, and then I was pissed. <laughs> so, yeah. Next time I get the chance, I will be repurchasing a couple of those. So, yeah, that's it's really awesome. This is good, too. It really is. I do like it. It was my favorite until I tried the hydrating and saw how good it was, so... Of course, a lot of people said they don't like Bare Minerals setting powders since they don't really understand it. But then again, they like some powders that I don't, like the Cover Effects, the Laura Mercier. And, and those give me lines, and I don't like that. This, to my knowledge, this doesn't. I haven't seen it yet, so. But, uh, and the Peach Perfect, everybody's talking about that. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, and, uh, what's the other one that, uh. Is it the Peach Perfect? There was one more I feel like that someone was talking about that it was kind of a, more of a hydrating powder. I forget. Maybe it is the Peach Perfect. I don't know. But um, there's a few high-end ones out there that I would like to try because they are, they sound amazing. Um, if I can remember which ones they are, I'll put, put them in while I'm editing. I don't, I think the one's the Hourglass Coconut or the Marc Jacobs Coconut setting powder. I, I don't remember. But yeah, whatever. Okay, and then I, ooh, sorry about that noise, and then for bronzer, this was kind of a hard one too. Y'all know I've been loving this. This is a, a one and done sort of product. It is your bronzer, blush, and highlighter, and it's a, with the brush, I love this brush too, I'd probably have to repurchase this brush. What the heck is my hair giving me issues? Oh my God. I love how this brush, you just sweep it across the product and do that, and it's just, it's perfect, and then you go in individually and build it up as you want, and on your forehead and whatnot, so it's really, really good. However, everybody knows, I've been out of this, the Benefit Hula, oh, I didn't even tell you what this was, I'm sorry. <laughs> it Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact, or Confidence in Your Glow, um, and the uh, Heavenly Skin One Sweet Wonder number 705. Um, and this is the Hula, the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Sorry about that. And uh, one of my s subscribers asked me to start showing uh, products a little bit more close. And I don't know that I've done that in this video. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But... Um, I might have to say that I would repurchase this as a bronzer more than the other one, even though I love that the other product is a is an all-in-one. So, I love this one probably more as a bronzer, but I love that one because it's it's functional, I guess. But I love this one, and this one could probably be used as an eyeshadow too. You just can't use it as as a blush too. I don't know. But speaking of blush. 
would be the next product. I don't necessarily have a go-to blush yet. I've got a few that I'm using, but I'm trying to pan those, so I don't know that I love them enough to put them in this video. So this is, back to this, I guess this is the only blush that I would say that I've been liking right now because it's a one and done. So, of course, it is a beautiful product. I mean, that's, look at that, that's gorgeous. And it works as eyeshadow, and it's, it's a good product. And as far as highlighter, the one in here is pretty. I, I use it. It's a one and done. But if I'm going to repurchase one, I'm probably going to either repurchase the Becca. I can't even get it open. The Champagne Pop or the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I'm going to either repurchase either one of these. And I don't know how much either one of them are. I know this one's pricey. So, I've not tried any drugstore highlighters so I can't be a judge on them if you have let me know there's a there I know there's some out there I just haven't tried them yet so if you know of one let me know about it and then as far as brows go I hope I'm not forgetting a product here as far as products go uh or as far as products go as far as brow products go I don't have have one out here with me I've got it in my little drawer is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I haven't been a, I haven't been able to use it in a while because I've been trying to use up my older products that I don't like as much. But I do love that one. It is awesome. And it just works well with my brows and I really like it. <laughs> um yeah, it just it makes doing your brows really, really, really easy. And I haven't used this product in a long time. This I don't know that I would say this would be my brow setter, but the Gimme Brow by Benefit, I really like this. This is a good for a uh, in, in a hurry type of setter because it has the fiber fiber gels. Let me show you the brush. See what I'm talking about? It just kind of gets in there and fills in everything, and it's you can use this as a brow setter if you want to. I have before, of course. Right now, I'm using the Tinted Brow Gel by, Benef by uh, Anastasia, and it's okay. I don't know if I'll repurchase it. Unfortunately, I have two of them, and one of them I'm almost done with, so I'm trying to use those, because I did buy them, obviously, even though I got them half off. But um, I've had them for a while, so I'll either, I will either need to use them or throw them away. <clears throat> and uh, I guess I'd probably have to say the uh, just the regular brow gel from her I really like, but I haven't used another one. So, um, that I know of. I like the Tarte brow gel, too. But I guess right now, th this would be the only brow gel that I'd have to use. I don't know. Oh, and another thing I forgot to do. Another subscriber asked me to do this. Uh, show y'all the, um, the wands for, from the mascaras. I'm so sorry. I should have done this a long time ago. Here's the, here's the roller. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, here is the tinted primer one. It is just like the um the benefit um they're real because this is the they're real primer. And then I'm just gonna show you this one because the roller lash ones are all the same, obviously. And there's that. And I just love how they do, so I, I definitely have to. I know I should have showed y'all a long time ago, but whatever. I love those mascaras and that mascara primer I would have to repurchase it definitely and for setting spray I would definitely hands down have to repurchase this I know it's very pricey and I need to find a drugstore alternative if you know one that's good and hydrating and not gonna you know it's gonna be hydrating then let me know please <laughs> the Ch Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and I love the All Nighter too so it's just so good and it just sets your makeup, refreshes it, and you just, you look amazing all day. Gotta have it, even though it's really pricey. I would repurchase it, especially if it was on sale, obviously. I say that about all this. <sighs> okay, and now that we've been going on for 27 minutes, I just put all my stuff up, stuff back up. Oh, okay, so if y'all lost all your makeup, what would y'all repurchase? I have to know, and... I feel like almost everything that I showed y'all was on the pricier side, and I was 
as I was trying to film this, I was trying to find stuff that was on the cheaper side, but I just, I don't know of too many drugstore products that I've been in love with. I wish I was, because that, I would max out my credit card with that. I mean, or maybe not max it out, but pretty close. Dear Lord, but. All right, y'all. So this is, we're going on 30 minutes, so. All right, I guess that's the end of this one. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe, especially if you're new, because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So come on back to my channel on those days for new content. And yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to uh, let us know what you want to see with me and my husband. Bye, guys. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Coffee break. Coffee break. Mm, good Lord, y'all. I don't know why my lips are so chapped. Like, it's summer. It's July. I just, and I don't know why my lips are so chapped. It's not like I don't put stuff on, but whatever. Whatever. I, just, ah! <laughs> I dropped a coffee break. <clears throat> okay, well now that we've been going on for uh, 26 and a half minutes. <laughs> Holy shit, did we just get through a video without that many bloopers? I don't know if there was any bloopers in this one. Holy shit. <laughs> was that a blooper? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> guys. I didn't put brushes in this video because that would have just been an hour long video. Because I, I couldn't even, I couldn't pick out the brushes. I just need them all. I need all the brushes. All the brushes. <laughs> Why am I yelling at you? Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man. I included my beauty blenders, but I could I don't know if I could use those as eyeshadow. Or if I could use those as eyeshadow. I don't know if I could use those to apply my eyeshadow. I guess I could. I have seen it done before. Coffee break. But I have to have them for foundation, concealer, primer, and everything else that I do. <laughs>